Hello, I'm Nazim Hassan and I'm measuring my gallium nitrate IC today. So <clears throat> I'm using this machine, j belt machine by Keysight Agilent Technologies. So what it does, it uh, generates very narrow pulse. So I need that uh, nanosecond uh, period pulse for my gallium nitrate based pulse generator. So uh, I have defined the data rate as one gigabit per second, you can see and I need some output voltage so let's see so this is my output voltage uh, the peak to peak voltage is 3.3 volts so this machine actually can generate this uh, peak to peak voltage and this is the maximum it cannot generate beyond 3.3 volts so this is my data output this is our DC block capacitor and this is a kosher cable uh, and this cable is connected to the oscilloscope. So uh, preliminary, in the preliminary stage, I'm watching this uh, output uh, curve in the oscilloscope to get confirmed uh, if my RF input is what I need. So let's check in the oscilloscope what it looks like. So let's go to oscilloscope. There you go. Okay. So this is my RF input which will trigger my gallium nitrate based pulse generator. So I have a couple of transistors there and they will be triggered by this input signal. You can see uh, this is the specs for this pulse. The period is almost uh, 10 nanoseconds and the amplitude is 106 millivolts. Uh, the reason the amplitude is less than what I define is that uh, I have used uh, attenuator in this oscilloscope because uh, of the device safety. Uh, there is 3 dB attenuator and this is a 20 dB attenu attenuator. So I have a total 23 dB attenuation connected to my terminal. That's why the amplitude is less than what I define in the BERT machine. So thank you for watching this video. I will make another video of that ice measurement. Thanks for watching.